Hey YouTube. Well, some of you know what I was speaking about in the year 2010 when we had the Gulf oil spill. Uh, if some of you who still follows me from back then uh, remember what I said and what I said so many times and I kept pointing that out that you need to leave the Gulf area, especially Louisiana. They drilled four holes, two holes at 37,800 feet into the crust of the earth in the Gulf of Mexico in Macondowell 252. And they also drilled two other holes, which were the primary holes, down to a depth of 47,000 feet. It is well known in the oil industry that Macondowell uh, uh, Canyon, Mississippi Canyon, is a very volatile, especially that area by the Gloria Dome, this, which is an old uh, asphalt volcano. No, that's Biloxi Dome, that is the old asphalt volcano. They drilled right next to it. Actually, I'm pretty sure they drilled into it and they also drilled very close to Gloria Dome which is a very very large and I mean gigantic salt dome sticking down in the same depths as they were drilling and it's over 50 miles in diameter and it's patrooning through the Gulf seafloor you can go look at Google Earth and find Gloria Dome you can go on Google Earth and find Biloxi Dome and see the size of these two uh, natural formations. And I'm not going to harp or brag or anything, but I told you people. I told you in 2010 what the consequences of what they were doing with the so called. United States Navy or should we just call it the military industrial complex they were in charge of these four holes drilled into the most volatile section of the oil region in Mississippi Canyon I was on radio show many times with AC Griffith on the Intel hub and he know about this stuff and he concurred with me Matt Simmons, who died mysteriously in his bathtub, being at good health of a heart attack, was screaming his lungs out about what they have done and what they could not do, and that is to contain that pressure which is coming up from there, because we're talking over 120,000 psi, and there is no man-made valve that can hold that. So. The BOP or the blowout preventer, as BP claimed they put down there and they sealed it off. That's a lie. There is no man made structure that can do that. And then I went on analyzing the crust. You can find all the info in my video called Gulf Oil Spill Anno 2010 2013 Revisited the technical details. The links are below. There's two videos. You can go watch them. Watch and learn. But I told you this would happen. This is a recent picture outside New Orleans. Louisiana coastline is disappearing at a rate of a football field an hour right now. The wetlands that protect southern Louisiana, including New Orleans, from flooding are disappearing. Dramatic erosion sinking land along the southeastern coast of Louisiana could lead to the largest forced migration for environmental reasons in history of the country, a new report says. I told you that in 2010. Get the heck out of there. I mean get out of there before it all plunges in, okay? It, is, it began with the Louisiana sinkhole. And I, so, I told you, back then, the water from the ocean would come in through those holes they have drilled. 
and up through and into the salt layers that is lying in underneath Louisiana, Alabama, Florida, and parts of Texas. You can see that in the video. I'm describing it very meticulously. According to a report called Losing Ground Changes in Mississippi Delta, they were designed to increase flood protection and enhance oil and gas production has led to an unprecedented loss of land. Bob Marshall, a reporter with the New Orleans news site, The Lens, has covered coastal land loss in Louisiana for decades. He collaborated with ProPublica to publish the new report. ProPublica used official U.S. Geological Survey topographical maps, aerial ph photographs and satellite photographs going back to before 1930s and combined them to create a powerful visual representation of just how much land has been lost in the f last 80 years. Marshall says that people who have been reading his stories for decades tell him that uh, this is the best thing you ever done. The words are pretty much the same, he says, but these graphics really hit home as you watch these pristine wetlands in the 1930s turn into uh, turn in some areas to open water. You watch as these canals come uh, in and the place just open up and falls apart. Since the mid-1930s, the total amount of loss of land is about 2,000 square miles. Marshall says, today Louisiana loses about 16 square miles a year, 20 or 30 years ago. The rate of the land loss were high in 30 or 50 square miles a year. Uh, all of this results from process that reinforce and amplify each other's effect, levy construction, oil and gas exploration and sea level rise. Let us just exclude the sea level rise. That is BS. All of the southern Louisiana. Let me tell you one thing. What was it that filthy pig Al Gore said that in 2015 all the ice will be gone on the ice cap. I can tell you one thing for sure. There is an increase of 43 percent of the northern ice cap this year. And why is that? Because we don't have the Gulf Loop current anymore. I told you that in 2010 that that will lead to an ice age. And we are plunging right into it. Have you noticed how cold it is? Have you noticed how few insects there's been this year? It's getting rapidly colder. We're already down at 55 degrees after sunset. 55 degrees. We're still in September. We should have Indian summer. Oh no, we have fall. And the trees are turning and there's no insects on my truck and I drive every day and I hardly what yeah I don't do much cleaning on my windows anymore that is disturbing okay all southern Louisiana from Mississippi to Texas was built by the Mississippi River Marshall explains the rivers delta building process goes back 7,000 years to the end of the last glacial period when the river hits its flat plain it slows down and the sediment it's carrying begins to fall out. Marshall said it's not just the main stem of the river that deposits sedi sediments. All the distributaries that peel off the river is uh, delta plain, deposit various amounts and s types of sediment also. During the spring floods, the river and all the distributaries would overflow their banks and spread the sediment nature cement. Marshall calls it across the entire delta. This natural process was still happening when the Europeans arrived. When the New Orleans was founded in 1718, the river and distributaries were still creating land out in the Gulf of Mexico, Marshall says. Everything went along as nature intended until we began developing along the river and people began putting up levees so they wouldn't get flooded by the river every spring. Marshall says levees block the river from spreading additional sediments into its delta. When a river can't replenish its delta, that delta begins to subside. Well, 
we can say that is uh, true. I would not dispute that. But if that has been going on for the last, yeah, what was it he said, 7,000 years, these sedimentations is very hard compressed, like cement. They're very hard. Okay. So, there was a link to this article. I'm not going to read all of it. What I would like you to do is, of course, read this article and remember what you're looking at right now. We're talking a football field an hour disappearing. I told you in 2010, I made, I think, 270 videos. I reported every single day my reportings, what I was finding, disturbing findings. I don't have those videos anymore. It doesn't really matter. What the most important video is, is the one you will find down in the the box underneath regarding the Gulf Oil Spill 2010-2013. I suggest you go watch it and learn what's going on. The land is sinking and it's going to lead to that the waters from the Gulf of Mexico will meet the waters of the Great Lakes again. It will split the United States in two sections with the widest point of up to 200 miles distance. The land is being destroyed and it's been done by man. It's been done in 2010 creating the precedence for the collapse of United States of America. We know we are already in a collapse financially, socially, politically, pretty much. The land has fallen from grace because people has left their spiritual values more or less completely and God hath taken his hand off this nation there is no protection for you or anyone living in what we call United States of America only those who hold dear to the Lord that's just how it goes unfortunately people has left their spiritual values but what they did in 2010 out in the Gulf of Mexico in Macondo World 252 let us also remember BP oil disaster who had some startling uh, images and videos and reportings too on this subject Absolutely. You can go find Arabella Free on YouTube here. Her channel is still there, but she's no longer active on YouTube. She also has some pretty startling images. And she has a video where the Gulf floor, where they did the Gulf oil spill, literally blew up. I don't know if they blew it up with a bomb or it is simply just did it by itself because of the pressure there's still fissures out in the Gulf floor large fissures and worst of all there is 30 million pounds of unexploded naval munitions in that zone spread all over in Mississippi Canyon. All it takes is a detonation and I think they already rigged it because those weird uh, apparatuses they put down on the seafloor was not pressure hoses. They are wires and I think they have put them out to the most devastating bombs that they have dropped over the years since World War II, right there where the Gulf oil spill took place. There might even be a nuke down there. There might be, I don't know, but 30 million pounds of unexploded munitions 
And funny enough, the day after I posted that video and showed you the evidence of that, YouTube decided to take that video off. It was a violation of community guidelines that that truth came out. But you remember who has followed me, that I reported on that. Watch and see it unfolds. And pray to the Lord that you will be in safety before it happens. God bless you.